DI stands for diabetes insipidus. So diabetes is uh, an excessive um, uh, release of water from the body. Uh, there are two main types of, of diabetes. The uh, more common type that most people think of is diabetes that is related to a deficiency of insulin. Diabetes mellitus, sometimes also called sugar diabetes. Um, that's a condition that is treated with uh, administration of insulin and um, is in no real way related to histiocytic disorders. Diabetes insipidus is um, a disease also caused by excess release of water from the body, uh, but the cause is entirely different. It's not related to a lack of insulin in the body. It's related instead to the lack of a hormone in the brain called vasopressin, um, which regulates the body's ability to um, uh, release fluid. And uh, for reasons that are still not clear, um, the gland in the brain that makes vasopressin, uh, the hypothalamus, um, is often affected by uh, uh, longer Hans cell histiocytosis. Um, although it can occur um, at the time of an original diagnosis, it can also be a late effect of, of LCH and can occur months or years um, after um, other active forms of the disease are recognized. Um, so diabetes uh, insipidus is characterized by uh, excessive urination and excessive thirst. And those are symptoms that any uh, child or parent of a child or an adult with LCH needs to be aware of. It, it can occur um, after treatment has been completed. Um, so for many years, diabetes insipidus, uh, uh, there was no effective therapy. We're fortunate now that synthetic vasopressin um, is available and can be administered, which will not cure diabetes insipidus, but will control the symptoms of the disease. So severe forms of diabetes insipidus, if a patient has advanced symptoms, can be often diagnosed simply through a series of uh, uh, tests of the blood and urine to look at concentrations of various electrolytes. Um, if a child uh, has uh, um, early signs or symptoms, uh, then often a water deprivation test is required, uh, which is a test that should be performed um, under the supervision of an endocrinologist. Uh, in a water deprivation test, uh, the patient is not allowed to drink water, and because the um, body cannot regulate its fluid output, a patient will gradually become dehydrated, and that can be determined by uh, serial blood sampling. Um, although it's an unpleasant test uh, and um, it, it's uh, often a necessary test to clearly establish the diagnosis of, of uh, diabetes insipidus. So DI uh, is treated uh, with uh, the administration of synthetic vasopressin, which can now be taken uh, orally or intranasally. So in the great majority of patients with LCH who had diabetes insipidus, it's considered to be um, irreversible. Uh, the damage caused to the hypothalamus that um, uh, leads to a lack of uh, vasopressin production um, uh, usually cannot be cured, uh, although the symptoms can be controlled with the administration of uh, appropriate medications. There are um, rare cases of uh, patients with LCH who with early treatment um, very shortly after the onset of symptoms uh, of diabetes insipidus can uh, have some partial reversal of that condition, but um, that's an exception. 